This video is about how to divide in binary numbers. The process of binary division is similar to long division in the decimal system. Now, let us try to solve this problem. As you can see, our divisor has 3 digits. So the next step is to look for 3 digits in our dividend. Now ask yourself, is 101 greater than or equal to 111? Obviously, no. So let's grab another digit here. Then again, ask yourself, is 1011 greater than or equal to 111? The answer is yes. So let's put 1 on top. Then let's multiply 1 to 111. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So the next step is to subtract these numbers. Let's start right over here. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 1 cannot be, so let's borrow from 1. Then this 0 here becomes 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. After subtracting, let's bring down the number on its side. So again, ask yourself, is 1 0 0 1? greater than or equal to 111? Yes. So let's put 1 on top. Then let's multiply 1 to 111. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Next, let's subtract these numbers. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 1 cannot be. So in that case, we'll have to borrow from the larger number. So, let's make this a 0, then the 0 here will become 2. And again, the 0 here needs to borrow, so we'll have to take from 2 and this becomes 1. And the 0 here becomes 2. Now, let's subtract. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus nothing is just 0. After subtracting, bring down the number on its side. So, we have... 1, 0, 0. Is it greater than or equal to 1, 1, 1? The answer is no. So let's put 0 here. Then let's multiply 0 to 1, 1, 1. 0 times 1 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. Now let's subtract. 1, 0, 0 minus 0 is 1, 0, 0. This is what we call a remainder. Now, if you want to check your answer, let's multiply our divisor to our quotient. 0 times 1 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Again, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Then, let's add all these numbers. Let's bring down 0. Second column, 0 plus 1 is 1. Third column, 0 plus 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. Next, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. And 0 plus 1 is 1. Last column, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. So, if you have remainder, do not forget to add it here. Then, our answer here must be similar to our dividend. Now, we can see that our answer is correct. Now, you can try to solve this problem. You can leave your answer in the comment section below.